Okay. Wow, what an evening we've uh, had here. Uh, nice to have a Just Jeanette Nat. Yeah, Jeanette McCuddy's got her own show coming up. So, nice promotion. So, let's just get down to the business of uh, the shows. Uh, okay, so, starting off iCarly, Jeanette picks the pepperoni off the pizza, hides it in her pocket. Okay. Do you really think pepperoni, apart from the pizza, is good? I mean, I like pepperoni on my pizza, but not off my pizza! Okay. And then Galaxy Wars. Another reference, uh, another Dan Schneider trademark. Mimic of Star Wars, he buys a laser. Gibby buys a laser for $700. You know, I guess some people are like that. That, a gun like that would not be worth $700. Why would a taser? I don't know. Okay. Spencer naked again, that's been done before. Okay, and then they went right into the theme song. Okay, so not the best first five minutes of an iCarly. So, uh, on to, uh, when the theme song ends, Carly is watching the Dingo Channel. Why is she watching the Dingo Channel after the recent, uh, well, not recent, a long time ago, they uh, had, uh, an issue with Dingo. Remember the episode I take on Dingo? Well, okay, I guess they were reconciled at the end of that episode. Uh, now I was anticipating Spencer naked being in the whole episode. Thank God it wasn't. But then he sets on a fire with his skate. Fire again? Grr! What's with the fire? And Kali, uh... Cooks a hot dog over it. Okay. Uh, cooking a hot dog over a roller skate. That's fine. Okay. Then came the highlight of the show when uh, Sam uses the classic butter sock and beats up the bully. Yeah. We were all applauding to that. I was. I know you were, too. Yeah. Now. The B plot. Did, uh... Chuck really need a younger brother? Okay, going off to military school, I was sensing that that was not the end of things, so he gets a younger brother. Okay. The episodes with Chuck, that... I, I don't like seeing those anymore. Those are old, they've been done, and... Enough of them. Okay, so, he, so they had to give him a brother. After all this time, we just now find out that he has a brother... After they've been living in that building with him all this time, they just now find out he has a brother. Uh, after he had, we knew that he has a hotter older sister that Spencer had the hots for. Only now do we find out that this brother exists. So, I'm getting the impression this was not going to be the best iCarly episode. And then I, the taser plot of the taser destroying everything, not good. But ends justify the means. It explodes. The kid Chip gets a taste of his own medicine. It ends all good. And so if it ends on a positive note, I can say it was an overall good episode. Okay. On to Victorious. Uh, starting off with, uh, Jed, uh, Chasing Cat. That was laughable! That was funny! That was the, that was probably the highlight of it all. And then, uh, Jade No Eyebrows. Remember the Zoe Ribs episode of Zoe 101 where, uh, Quinn blows off Mock's eyebrows? Yeah, that remembers me. Then more of the Jade Cat Chase. Funny thing. <laughs> so, I'm catching on to this Pony plot, uh, how she disappears and all that and all that. Uh, so, uh, 
She finds the corn and the doll and uh, everything else in the backpack. And, you know, so we realize she's not Tori's imagination, that she's playing tricks on her. Uh, for whatever reason. But it remind me a lot of Stephen King. The corn, children of the corn, the shining with the lockers. Trying to spook her out. So, goes into the commercial break, and I'm thinking, hmm. We'll see where this goes. It's okay, but when they got back from the commercial break, really improving. Yeah, you know, first Robbie on the guitar. Matt Bennett does pretty good on the guitar. That's really uh, him doing it. And then... Uh... Jeanette's character comes up and delivers the Chinese food. Which, uh... Yeah, we know, uh... That's going to... Yeah, that's where it really started to get good. Uh... Then... Tony's... Mom appears. Holly Vega has been appearing much more frequently lately. And, uh, that's good. Jennifer Carter is a great actor. Does very good. I said actor because actor is now a gender neutral term. In case you didn't know, the word actress has been eliminated from, uh, the dictionary. So she's a great actor and she does some pretty good lines in there. And as Dan said, he wants this a show that adults can watch as well as kids. Uh, Jennifer Carter, as I've said before, would be nice for attracting adult males. Uh, she looked pretty sexy in those pajamas. So, so it turns out there's Probably an affair she's having with the uh, police officer. Ooh. We'll see if that's a continuing storyline and where it goes. <laughs> but all in all, great ending with the uh, cops uh, capturing Bon. Then we see Cat Bald. Uh, not necessarily good looking bald, but. Uh, Funny nonetheless. <laughs> and then Jeanette driving the car at the end, which was... Ooh. Yeah. So looking good so far. And so, uh, an hour-long Bucket and Skinner. Well, of course, it's obvious that, uh, Bucket's plan for asking Kelly to the prom isn't going to work. So the first funny thing that happens is when the clog from the drain gets spilled all over a piper. And then the wrong way on the bus, like that hasn't been done before. Okay, so Matt Shively makes an appearance. Uh, guess needing some exposure now that the troop is over and True Jackson as well. And somehow, uh... Skinner getting the door open to the poison room, or the, uh, robot room, was just funny. I guess it was because he was doing it. So, the five-star colonel? If I am correct, there is no such thing as a five-star colonel. There's a lieutenant colonel and a full colonel. There's five-star generals, but no one has held that rank in 50 years, I believe. Okay, so it goes on. Piper squirted at the end. Again, funny. And then it... it so the plot, it was... Good at points, it was bad at points. Well ended. Always important. 
And then abruptly, Bucket is Kelly's date. And she kisses him. And she tells him he's handsome. Is this the beginning of something? I would imagine so. Well, uh... So... The story was so-so, but it was funny. That's what counts, is that it was amusing. So some new shows coming up. Uh, we've got the game show Figure It Out being revived with the newer generation of Nick stars. And uh, Hollywood Heights. That might be interesting. Uh, now that... Uh, I'm getting some time off work and not working uh, as many hours. I may, because uh, I'm thinking this, from what I understand, that this will be a daily show, and I might watch it, not review it every day, but maybe on weekends uh, give a little dose of it. And maybe some House of Anubis, uh, if House of Anubis is still being shown daily, I'm not sure. But yeah, I, uh, school year has ended, so I'm getting, uh, some more rest, recuperating. Still working, still getting some work, but okay, I've made my point there. So, till next time, this is your Nick, 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 Nickelodeon Nutkiss!